second common, you know, really come at a nice time. Um, I'd gone through the winter. I'd had a go down here in the winter. Um, didn't do no nights down here, but what I did do, I kept coming down here and doing morning sessions. I, I love doing my mornings fishing. And I've uh, done quite a few mornings, few afternoons, and, and to be honest, struggled. Everyone else down here struggled. Um, didn't see a fish after November, and it was pretty grim. Anyway, cut a long story short, got down here in April, and uh, the fish had woke up. You know, they were moving about and stuff like that. Fished in my favourite swim, which is the iris. Uh, I've had loads of fish out of the iris since I've been, been on this lake. You know, probably my, my most, one of my most successful swims. Uh, fished it, got me baits in place. Um, nutcracker cockball pop-ups on all three rods, because I've got a lot of confidence on here, the mesh ones. Uh, got all them in place. And it wasn't until the next morning um, that I see a fish. I see a fish show, but nowhere near me, quite a way away. And then about half past ten, this was after I'd been getting cooted. Coots kept coming along. I had a rod in shallow water, probably about four foot. Coots kept coming along, picking the bait up, just absolutely driving me nuts. They were a total disaster. Half past ten. I hear the buzzer again, expecting to see another coat, and the rod was bent round in the rest, full test curve, you know, because I was fishing locked up. And uh, when I looked out on the plateau that I was fishing, there was a massive eruption out there, and a big fish was trying to get away, big towel. Anyway, I had a really hard, hard battle with it. It took a lot of line off me, you know, it was really nerve wracking, running across shallow bars and stuff, which I never like. And uh, after a while it tired, I played it back in and netted it. And that's when we realised how big this fish actually was. And I knew it was a mid-40, common. It was a new fish for me, it was a fish I never had before. Uh, a lot of these fish in here I've caught on one or two occasions. Uh, still after one particular fish. But weighed this common up and it was just a couple of ounces short of £50. In fact, it rested on £50 and it was bouncing just under, so we called it 4912 but an absolute peach of a common. So two carp for over £100.